Today is a very, very special day. Um, I am meeting up with someone from the Obese to Beast Discord server. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. We've been planning this since... Well, basically, since we met online, we've been planning this. And uh, he's just one really cool dude that I can't wait to meet up and run a 5K with. <laughs> I somehow convinced a friend from Texas uh, who is visiting relatives here in the Midwest to meet up and run a 5K with me. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be meeting up with Gary and uh, we're going to be running a 5K together. It's going to be a blast. It is freezing cold outside i want to say it's like 20 degrees right now let me check real quick oh sorry it's not 20 it is five degrees outside so it's gonna be a chilly run i don't know i'm, I'm just excited to go and run in a new town in a new place uh we're meeting up on the eau claire campus and we're gonna be just running around eau claire for a 5k it's gonna be oh but i've got a two hour drive ahead of me so i'm gonna go, get going here and uh i will see you guys when we uh meet up with gary All right, we're here with Gary. Up, good, up? good friend from the Discord. First time yeah, meeting someone up? from the Discord. That was good. <laughs> so that's awesome. So you've lost a lot of weight as well, correct? Yeah. And you said over 100, right? Uh, it's 200. Oh, you're at 200 now? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So we're actually uh, basically the same amount of weight lost. Nice. You've run a 5K before, though, right? Nope. No, this so this, is, uh, this even is this is attempt number one. Oh, so even in preparation for this, you haven't run one yet. Nope. Okay, what's the furthest you've gone? Uh, I want to say like a mile and three quarters. Mile and three quarters. Okay, <laughs> that's you know you're like halfway there, so that's good. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run your first 5K today. Okay. Unofficial, obviously, unless maybe this makes it official on a video. I mean, listen, as cold as it is outside, it better count. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll count it for you. And on top of that, as promised, I brought us some snacks. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't mind the buy one get one free. So. <laughs> are you, so are you giving me the bought one or the free one? Uh, I'm giving you the bought one, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's get running, shall we? All right. And it's always some like old, like a like grandpa or grandma with just like this big Minnesota accent. <laughs> and I'm like, it got to the point where like I started like looking forward to it because it just like, you know, just remind me of home. <laughs> <laughs> Officially run a 5k my friend. Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's right. We're at 3.1 is what my phone says. But you did it. I wanna, uh, I wanna thank my mom. I wanna, I wanna thank my dad. <laughs> you did it, Gary. I'm so proud of you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> It was about about 52 minutes, but we had stop signs in there. We had stop lights. We had we had buildings to look at, bridges to cross. I'm not dying. Yet. <laughs> and now we must make the trek back to our vehicles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least we can walk it and enjoy it now, right? <laughs> yes. And then actually, get some food. Well, I mean, the slower we walk, the the colder we'll get. The quicker we get, you know, the frostbite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So maybe we will still run some of it. 
<laughs> Probably for the better. <laughs> All right, 5K is completed. Yes, sir. It's how are you? How are you feeling, Gary? How was uh, your first 5K? I'm feel, uh, feeling pretty good. You know, uh, it had me in the first half. Not gonna lie. Uh, you know, we really, uh, really pulled it around. Uh, got it going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me, James. Yeah, you did. You did really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like under an hour for your first one. At least for me, that's always good. And then of course we were going through like stop lights and stuff, and that and slowed us up. And we were taking pictures too. It wasn't like we were really being too yeah. focused all the time. So, but it was good. It was a good run. Really pretty area once you got on the other side of the river. Yeah, get out of the little yeah. prison complex. <laughs> the prison complex. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, look at that smoke stack up there. I mean, it's like serious Chernobyl. <laughs> uh, so, but it was it was a blast yeah, man. doing a run. And now we're gonna get a bite to eat. Because we need some energy. I uh, yes. all I've had today is a bowl of oatmeal and peanut butter, so I am I am famished. <laughs> all right, yeah, you know, uh, in real boomer fashion, we got to go get our fiber. We got to get it gotta early get and get it often. <laughs> it was good. It yeah. was a good run, and actually, we did just over 5k. We did 4.3, was it? Yeah, about 4.3 miles. Yes, sir. So feeling feeling great. I don't feel like no boomer after running that. Okay. <laughs> also, as promised. <laughs> I can't move my fingers. I, I just can't. It's not going. <laughs> All right, so 2020 has just come to an end. It is officially past midnight here. Should not have stayed up this late, but I was over at my parents' place for a mystery dinner theater thing uh, that was really fun to do. I played Emery Twist, a Hollywood director that... Uh, He's very well known in Hollywood, and so he's very high on his horse of I know what I'm doing, I'm the best kind of thing. But nonetheless, it was it ran a little later than I was expecting it to. I got home and there was like 20 minutes to midnight, so um, I decided to just kind of stay up the rest of it, even though I gotta be up early tomorrow. Um, because hey, ring in the new year, right? <laughs> this year definitely started on a high note for me. I was doing really well, and I was so hyped to be getting back to the gym. And be doing that stuff again and it was it was looking to be a really really good year and then uh the gym shut down <laughs> covid hit the gym shut down a lot of stuff shut down uh and i think that kind of happened to all of us it, it really threw us all for a loop we found ways to adapt and we we kept strong we found ways to connect through social media uh and on that note it's been a huge blessing this year to be a part of the Obese to Beast Discord. Uh, I know I've mentioned it a few times, uh, but it really has helped me this year to connect with people, to link up with people that are on the same mindset when it comes to health and fitness and just understanding the struggles of weight loss. <laughs> because it's it's one thing to be a fitness trainer or, a, um, or an athlete or someone that's focused on fitness their entire life uh, versus someone who's who's lost the weight. And I'm not saying that you can't get training from people that, that have never been overweight, but it's very different when you have people that are going through the same thing as you or have gone through the same thing. Uh, for instance, just meeting up with Gary, right? It was so cool to talk with someone else who has lost the same amount of weight as me, who, who has been in my shoes, uh, you know, essentially, of, of being like morbidly obese, being that, that heavy weight person. Uh, and to connect with people like that and to have them reassure you that like, hey, you're doing good. Even though you slipped up, you can recover in this way. Or here are some of my strategies. Here are some of my tips. I think I said to Gary the other day, I said, you know, everyone talks about how there's so much bad stuff out there on the internet, but if it didn't exist, it wouldn't have brought us together. So how bad can it really be? I know there's a lot of bad out there on the internet. I know people always bring up the bad, but I think it's something to take note of that it's really brought a lot of people together and it continues to do that. And I think there's a lot of good stuff out there on the internet. I just don't think it's an, as much publicity. Uh, so uh, I, I'm thankful that 
that John decided to, you know, start live streaming, which kind of led to the Discord being created. I, I, I sit back and just think about how this year began and how I was so hopeful for getting back into the gym and, and, and starting to, you know, really weight lift and making more videos and stuff like that. And I, I, I derailed. I did. I, I am not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to be honest. This year was not as successful as I was hoping it to be. I only lost about 50 pounds. And I know I say I only lost, <laughs> like that's, that's bad, but I, I was hoping to be in a different place right now. I would have liked to be closer to that 300 pound mark, uh, you know, like an 80 pound loss in a year. So I was close, <laughs> but especially here in December, I, I really derailed. I really derailed with the holidays here and, and the food I was consuming was not, was not good. Uh, and I wasn't keeping up with activity. Other than the 5K with Gary, I had a couple other walks in, but that was that was about it. But I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank the people in Discord. Uh, there's there's so many names that that I could bring up and mention, but I think I just I just want to say thank you to you guys in general. Um, whether you've only messaged me once, or whether you were only voice chat a few times. Or, you know, you've maybe only seen a couple of my posts in the, the text channels because I'm not too good about that. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for making this year better than, than it would have been, right? Uh, and even though I've had some downfalls when it comes to my weight and not being as successful with activity and not being able to go and weightlift, uh, I am I'm pressing on in this, in this new year being hopeful. I really want to focus on making this next year even better. <laughs> and regardless of whether or not we're locked in or not, um, if we're still locked into our homes, I need to really find some alternative ways to stay active, to weightlift. Maybe I'll get a gym membership. I've been tossing that idea around whether or not I should, but I need to do something because right now I'm not losing the weight like I want to. I've always done my best to be honest with you guys and up front, this month was not very good. Uh, and I, I don't want to see that continue. So let's, let's press on into the new year being hopeful for better things <laughs> and that's that's when it comes to a lot of things so um again thank you guys for watching and happy new year all right snack time yes, <laughs> it's kind of hard for me <laughs> cold <laughs> just building character uh-huh no.